Today we're going to be reading Harry the Dirty Dog. That's clean dog, dirty dog, clean, dirty. Look, he's running away from the bathtub. Ah. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush. Oh, where's he going to go? And buried it in the backyard. Oh no, Harry. Look at him, digging and digging. Then he ran away from home. Oh no, no. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. Look, they're fixing the street. There's lots of cars, lots of dirt. And look where Harry is. He is just playing in the dirt. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Oh my my. Where is Harry? He's up here where all the dark smoke is. He's gonna get very dirty. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. Look at all the other dogs. What are they doing? They all need a bath. Bath time, guys. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Let's see if we can spot him. He's right there. He's got all the white spots. No. The rest is black. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. Oh, he looks worried. Look at him. Look at him. Oh no. He's getting lonely. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Henry? Harry, I mean? So he ran into the backyard. And that's his family, but they didn't recognize him because his their dog is white, not black. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. Oh, look at all the tricks that he's doing. Oh, let's see if the family recognize him. He danced and he sang. He did this tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, he couldn't be Harry. Oh no, because he's so dirty. They don't recognize him. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate and suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously, so he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy bucks. Oh, look! He dug out his brush. He found the scrubbing brush, and carrying in his mouth, he ran into the house. Run, run, run! Up the stairs, he dashed, with the family following close behind. Where do you think he's going? He jumped through the bathtub and set up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth. He, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Uh-oh. Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look. Come quick. What is it? What is it? It's Harry. It's Harry. It's Harry. They cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly. And he became once again a white dog with black spots. Look, he was black and white before. Now he was white and black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush hit hidden under his pillow. Where's the brush? Is that the brush right there? 
Look at how happy he is. See? 